Okay, okay. You see, what we have done is like we have just we are in a design phase itself, like we are in a high level overview. We haven't configured anything. We are just designing a life cycle, how our application looks like. Okay, these things are all will be done by business. Actually, like business will tell us like what type of things we need to do at what stage. What I am trying to say. See, he has a developer will be working on technical things most of the time, not on the flow level things. Okay, flow level things will be defined by business. Whatever the business is giving, we will define that in that way. You got my point. Okay, now we have defined in life cycle, right? The back end of a life cycle is nothing but a flow. We have already discussed at this point, right? Do you remember? Yes. Back end of a life cycle is nothing but a flow. Now let's see whether the flow was. We have created a life cycle. So let's see whether flow was created or not in the background. Okay. So let's see what is going on. You click on the, you hover on the collect delivery info. Ah, which one collect delivery info? Is there a second stage? Yes, no, no, hover on below, below, below. You have one more. Collect delivery info. Write delivery address. Okay, yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah, you click on that. Ah, that icon is then not deleted? Yeah, click on that. One final process correct. Click on that. Yeah, click on the open. Open process. On the on the right side, you have read open process. Now, this is a flow rule. This rule was created by system itself. Okay. So see, you have added two steps. Two steps came as in two, two assignment shapes. Okay, you understand what we are doing here. See, it was created by system itself. So whenever you're trying to modify life cycle background, these flows will get modified. Okay. Okay, got my point. Whenever you're trying to modify anything on application life cycle background, what will happen? The flows will get modified okay. Is that point clear or any questions clear? Okay, it really requires a much practice. Yeah? We need to practice it. Yes, correct. See, what I am trying to say is like whatever the, whatever the changes you made in a life cycle go to your life cycle. Put order. Is there? Put order. Is your life cycle. Click on stages and steps. You have the stages and steps button. Right. We can even give like flow actions here itself. Right, correct, correct. You have to just get familiar. Okay, see, this is a life cycle. Whenever you made any change to the life cycle, what will happen? Background, the flow will get changed. Okay, if you have added one more step below. Okay, then what it will do in the background? It will add one more assignment shape here. Okay. So see, that is what I am telling. The life cycle is nothing but a flow.
you try to add one more step, any dummy step here. Click on that. Click on some test you can add here. Choose anything. Apply promo or something you add. Yeah, choose here. You just save this one. Okay, now you again click on that open process. See you can. You understood what we are trying to do here. Whatever you change you made on a life cycle that will impact on a flow. Got it. Got it now without making a changes on application life cycle. If you are trying to add directly here on a flow level, it will get missed. Then what will happen? You will lose the capability to make a changes on life cycle. But that change will reflect in the process means, yeah, that change will get reflected in the process, but you will lose the capability to make changes through life cycle. You then what you have to do always, you have to make changes from flow level on flow level. Okay, understood, okay. Once you, when you have made a change, directly in a flow without a flow, without a life cycle, you have directly checked out this rule and you have made a change, then what will happen? You will lose the ability to make a change in application life cycle. Got it? Yes. Any questions till now? So what we have done today is like we have created an application, we have saw the class structure, how a class was getting created and how the table was being mapped automatically to a class, and then we have created one operator ID, we have given the access for that operator ID to our application and we have configured an application case life cycle and we saw how actually a flow was getting created automatically when we have made modifications to make modifications to application life cycle. Is that clear? Yes.